Hi guys, welcome to Creative Chess channel and today is our next lesson which is devoted to the topic Knight on G6, signal for an H pawn. What do I mean? I mean such positions uh, where Knight is standing on uh, G6 and White has an opportunity to disturb the Knight uh, with the H pawn. Uh, for example, Mm, of course, in this position, white is completely lost, but I mean the plan. So, first of all, uh, you need this uh, not only to disturb the knight, but also to uh, gain some space advantage. And uh, sometimes, in a lot of cases, a pawn doesn't stop here, but we put it on h6 in order to uh, open the opponent's king. For example, in this case, uh, if black takes, you see the uh, king uh, would be open, and if you have other pieces like queen or rooks, you can bring them uh, to attack the king. So that's why it's a very important idea. And uh, if, for example, in this uh, case, uh, I'll just let's imagine that uh, black plays h6 and white doesn't have any opportunity for example in this situation yeah okay let's we'll just imagine that we don't have an opportunity to play h h6 but we are playing g4 if uh, black stops this idea uh, then uh, you may just uh, have another weakness on h6 if you have a bishop for example a queen you always should think about sacrifices on h6 so that's uh, the idea of our today's lesson so first uh, we're going to have a look at two positions this is position number one actually uh, with white pieces played botvinnik and Balislavski was his opponent. The game was played in Leningrad in 1941. Uh, but Vinik was writing about this position uh, that uh, Black has just played uh, Queen to c6. They want uh, to distract uh, White's attention and force them to protect a4 pawn. If uh, White would play something like Rook a1, uh, we may say that Black would have gained success, not uh, even success on board, but mental success, because it's always very unpleasant uh, to protect something. Uh, but, unfortunately for Black, White has a very nice plan to, and easy plan to attack, and... Uh, the plan is connected with uh, uh, moving h4 pawn and then uh, taking e5 square and uh, after the knight goes away somewhere uh, white rooks uh, can uh, just uh, enter the e file uh, so that's why instead of protecting the spawn and playing passively in a lot of cases, that's very bad. Uh, but Vinik is playing g3. So why not h4 now? We can understand that the pawn is hanging. That's why he is preparing g3. Next move is h4. In the game, uh, black played rook to d6. Let's have a look at what might have happened if they took the pawn. In this case, we're just following our plan h4. Let us say rook goes here to open the uh, retreat for the knight, then h5 and h6, like we have just uh, discussed. And of course, again, now you see we have e5, a square we can attack, we can put our rook somewhere, we can bring the, uh, the queen into the game. Of course, a white's position is much, much better and it's very difficult for black to defend. That's why instead of taking black played rook d6 and white goes with the plan h4. Black plays f6, the idea is clear, they don't want the knight goes to f6, but um, I already mentioned that if uh, your opponent makes some pawn moves, it means that uh, he creates uh, some weak squares. For example, moving this pawn, he is creating uh, this, uh, the weak square on e6. So, but Vinik played uh, queen f5 and queen c8. 
uh, black is going to exchange they're afraid that the attack will be very very uh fierce but uh white has uh no doubts they just exchange so uh, why again not to take here instead of playing queen to c8 the idea is h5 knight goes to f4 attacking the pawn and if for example queen protects the pawn then we can play rook e7 knight goes to e6 and queen g4 you see we want to checkmate and uh, actually there is no protection for black here and black are lost again so that's why he decided to change the queens but Vinik changed the queens and uh, played h5 anyway and rook e7 they followed knight f4 move here already can you imagine um, we uh, black resigned actually uh, why because uh, you see that uh, they are suppressed and uh, white is going just to play something like uh, this doubling the rooks on their seventh rank uh, black might have played uh, something like this uh, but you see uh, it's very difficult for black to move even if they uh, just protect the last rank so they might uh, they don't have any um, uh, moves it's like a uh, zugzwang uh, so what to do the knight can't move the rook can't move uh, pawns can't move so uh okay let's just uh wait what white is going to do but white will just uh, move and move and move and sooner or later uh, their position would be uh even more better and uh, soon they would outplay their opponent and of course if you're playing instead of uh, playing against Batvinik of course uh, uh, he will um, win uh, this uh, kind of positions that's why black prefer to resign the same story might happen not with only with the uh, white pieces but with black uh, the position was like that it is another game uh, which was played uh, again by Botvinnik he was playing uh, black this time and uh, you see uh, here white is having this knight on g3 it's like mirror attack and uh, here it took uh, black only six moves to outplay white he is playing h5 again the same idea trying to not only to follow the knight but uh, also to gain some space advantage uh, white played uh, bishop to f1 h5 uh, knight goes to e2 and uh, knight h5 even here we may see that uh, this um, uh, pieces are standing not very nicely black has a nice uh, bishop uh, soon they might go to attack and to, uh, to press uh, white even more and uh, uh, here white blundered they play uh, knight f4 and after check uh, king h1 and g5 it turned out that white is losing a piece is losing uh, their uh, bishop and that's why white resigned here because they are losing a piece so actually guys uh, that's all that i want to tell you today about the topic so again let's repeat if you see the opponent's knight on g6 maybe it's a signal to attack maybe it's a signal just to play h4 h5 right now or first if the pawn is unprotected play g3 uh, and um, attack black king gain some space advantage and win the game so guys that's all for today uh, see you uh, please subscribe to my youtube chess channel and bye bye